What's the best way to build a business? Find a problem and solve it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what are you good at? What are you good at, numbers? What are you good at? Like, what, what skills made you great in the illegal business? What skill set did you have? What made you win? Is it a lot well, of times the people who win there is like, they're just really good with people. You're good with people. You're charming. You're convincing. You, you can wiggle your way out of situations. So how can you use, if that's you, are you good with people? Interesting, man. This is, dude, this, this stream has been like from God to the streets. It's been all over the place. <laughs> It's a whole new, it's a whole new world, dude. It's a whole new world. No mercy says his skills are negotiations and assertiveness. Great, dude. So that, that's what you got to turn into a legit business. Help people negotiate. Go in and help them close real deals. A lot of people suck at negotiating, dude. A lot of people suck. I remember, um, oh man, it was a great interview with 50 Cent who was talking about like, do you get nervous or something? Um, this is back when he was doing the, the, the 50 laws of power. Right. Right. Book. Top, like we're, you we're get nervous. Really. He's like, do I get nervous? Dude, I've been shot in the face and like all the stuff that he had to deal with like this. You think this business thing stresses me out? Come on now. Right. So, um, that yeah, was like, Jay Z well, says that ice T says that it's like, this is nothing right here. This he said, cause what they was going through on the streets was like, you know, far more than this right here. But it's translating those skills, right? So, like, what do you take from the streets and, and bring that into the the business world? So, a lot of people are super afraid of negotiating. Like, what if they make yeah. the wrong move? That gives a guy like you a big leg up. I would find um, a company where you believe in the product, you believe in what they're doing, you believe in the service, like you think it's legit. You would use it. You'd recommend it to your mom. And then go negotiate and be assertive. Like help them go close big deals. Take a piece of the company. Now you're now you're legit and you're using the skills that you're great at for good. So No Mercy says, have you ever read Art of War? Not the full version. I've read I've read pared down versions of it. But I mean, like I haven't I don't read a lot. I read ten yeah, pages a day. Too? Yeah. I love learning, but reading is not where I get most of my learning. So, uh, well, this is not information I feel so. But no, there's a lot in there that, dude. Like, if you're reading that, it's, you're not just negotiation and assertiveness. Your strategy. That's strategy. That yeah. speaks to how much of a strategic brain you've got. You combine strategy with negotiation with assertiveness, dude. That's a that's a home run right there. You just need to find a, an entrepreneur or a business that you can connect with, that you can partner with, that you can be in charge of all that for them, where they suck at doing all of the the biz dev, talking to people, yeah. too afraid, you know, that. Yeah, but a lot, a lot of street guys are heavy into Sun Tzu and Machiavelli and people like that, too. Because, dudes, you know... Dude, a, lot of, a lot of them are geniuses. Yeah. Geniuses, just... Wrong environment, but now you right, get to pick. Right, right, then you go, right. You get because, to pick. You I get mean, to change. Because you know that street life is it's a dead end, anyways. Uh, at some point. Yeah, I mean, eventually. I mean, I don't. I haven't seen anyone that really. I don't care if you're in the mafia or if you just, you know, a, a, a hood dude or, or a gang. It's just, it's just, um, it, you know, you know that's a dead end. Like, look at look at how did, how did Fifty Cent make all his money? It wasn't from his albums; it was from investing. Right? He, he got lucky to get shot nine times, and you still live to tell. That's very lucky. You know, you don't get luckier than that. One shot, you you're gone. He got shot. Well, I think well, I think it was nine times. And we're, we're looking at doing a, a interview with um. Oh my God, what's his name? Dwight Howard. Oh, you're the best player. Yeah, yeah. And like, listen, a lot of another thing is a lot of people don't give uh, like just because you grew up on the streets or the wrong side of the tracks, whatever, it doesn't mean you're an idiot. 
Right. No, it's just bad circumstances. IQ right. and smarts doesn't discriminate like that. No, um, no. But a lot of a lot of people sleep on athletes too. A lot of people would look at Dwight and say, "Oh, duh, it's just some dummy, or just an athlete." No, look, yeah. I, I, look, look, look at Magic Johnson. He's oh, almost dude, Johnson is a genius, ever. dude. Johnson yeah. is. A or, or even or even Roger Starback, one of the most genius businessmen ever. So so again, if even if you look at action, look at Ice Cube, and look what the life he came from, what he went through, and and he's a very smart businessman. Yeah. I mean, that's but a people lot. sleep on them. People don't think of them as, dude. The first, the first non entrepreneur that I featured on my channel, the top ten, was Michael Jordan. Yeah, because he's a billionaire. Yeah. But you don't think of Jordan as a billionaire. Well, him and Phil Knight, man, you talking about you talk about partnership made in heaven. Him and Phil Knight, I mean, he he was the brand in the face of Nike, and and and, and, and Phil Knight, I mean, multiple billions. I mean, just but but because of that relationship, Michael made more money doing that than he did in basketball. So no mercy <laughs> that you like use Fifty Cent as your hero, as your role model, as your guide for this. You, you need to own a piece of a business. Now, he, he wasn't, as far as I know, I don't think he was super active in the company, but he- Vitamin water, he made a killing off of that. No, I know, but I don't think he was active like day to day right, right, active, in the operations. Right. I could be wrong. You can look it up and you can find out more than me super quick, but that's how he got rich. That's what you do. It's vitamin water. Dude, give vitamin water to No Mercy. He's going to be out selling it and making his B, Right. Well, and, 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 but I think I think Fifty Cent really is a good example because number one, he did write a book and he talks he talks about all his secrets. In I mean, I I can I, I have the book right here. I can show. Well, <laughs> here we go. There you go. The fiftieth law. There you go. Yeah, there it is, right there. And 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 he and, and he combined with Robert Greene, who walked the forty eight laws, the forty eight laws of power, um, and so he walked the fiftieth. And they combine together. But the thing about 50 Cent, you look at his transformation, his evolution from um, being on the streets and, and selling drugs and everything else, getting in the rap game. He blew up. He blew that up. And then he got into acting a little bit. And now he's the guy that's behind so many shows um, like Power and a few other shows. That's He's, he's, he's in a producer category now. Mm -hmm. where he's producing, And he's giving people, he's giving thousands and thousands of people jobs now. And, and dude, I mean, you're already doing it. No mercy, but it's starting to hang around in different circles, right? Yeah. Like 50 Cent. Have you seen Robert Greene? Robert Greene is is not – like 50 Cent would not normally hang with – like exactly. a guy like 50 Cent doesn't hang exactly. with a guy like Robert Greene, right? Right. But there 50 Cent does. 50 Cent does because he's smart. And that's why you got to study him because, again, it's another like unpairing or unusual couple that you never be together but he's making so many moves. Um, look at Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg. Who would have thought? Oh, Snoop Martha Dogg Stewart is a genius. Snoop Dogg? Yeah, Snoop Dogg is a genius. So, so you, so you said about the business side of it. It's like super. I mean, look, look at stuff that Mike Tyson's doing with different people. Like, I would never put those two together. But, but they have Tyson's business, a genius Martha. too, dude. I mean, but you're doing it. Like, the, no mercy. The fact that you're here is already doing it. How many people? Uh, how many people? Who you grew up with if you told them yeah i'm gonna go on this uh guy who plays league of legends and has a youtube channel we're gonna talk business <laughs> like what are they gonna what are they gonna say about that <laughs> right but you're here you're doing it you're hanging in the circles that you want to be hanging in like that that's that's the next step i love it dude you're doing it it's, it's jay-z I mean, hanging with warren buffett and steve's forbes you know exactly like, and, and even even Jimmy Iveen and, uh, and Dr. Dre and, and doing beats, the headphones. He's like, no, no, I'm a producer, I'm a rapper. But he's, he, made, he made more money in his headphones with beats than anything. Yeah, but so so you're, you've got the smarts to hang, dude. But now it's about asking the right questions. Like, don't come to us and ask how to wash money. <laughs> we have, <laughs> right? we like, have with the business side. We got to do this. <laughs> not going to Warren Buffett to say, hey, how do I wash money, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you're doing yeah. it, dude. You're doing it. You're doing it. I love, I love. I love the that kind of underdog story because the world's against you, but you're a smart dude and you're gonna win. You just gotta, yeah. you just gotta play it right.
But to see, like you said, to see Robert Greene and 50, there's no oh, way dude, they would like, ever hang out together. Go, go <laughs> Google Robert Greene. Like, look at look at what he looks like, right? Like, that's typically not somebody like, I'm going to go partner up with this dude. Yeah. Right? Most people just stay stuck in their zip code. Or, 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 or Martha Vineyards. Martha Stewart and Martha Vineyards hanging out with Snoop Doggy Dog. Yeah. Snoop yeah. Dogg. I mean, come on. I mean, it's just, it, you know, you never put, you would never, ever put those two together in a billion years. And there well, they are. If you know Snoop Dogg and you know Martha Stewart, you would, because they're both super smart. Yeah. And just talent recognizes talent and wants to work together. Yeah. And, and, they, like, and they got they got they got a great chemistry together. What what, yes. what, what color is everybody's money, Zan? Um, it depends on what country you're in, but in well, this country, it's green. It's all the same color. <laughs> it's, it's all, all the, the same, same color. color, dude. It's all the same color. It is. Yeah, actually, in Canada, we got, we got. One day, one day, just, hey, listen, guys, one day, I don't know when, <laughs> but maybe, maybe 2025, but one day, one day, just like Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart and Robert Greene and, and 50, well, me and Evan not that far apart. One day, me and Evan going to be partners. One day, I got, I got some work to do, but maybe 2025, one day. <laughs> we have our own show to do, bro. Evan doesn't know it yet, but one day. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We we have a show right here. What are you talking about? One day. I, I mean, I talk about like a, a real, real big sponsor paid for show or whatever, whatever. This is a real big do. show. I'm, Come on now. Know, I'm talking about major corporate sponsorship. So that's the definition of a big show for you as a corporate sponsor. When you when you're on a national international platform, yeah. we're, we're on the biggest platform in the world, Zane. Okay, but it's not the same. You know what I mean? It's not the same. It's not the same. But but it, it, I don't know what it's gonna look like. But we're gonna have a partnership one day. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I don't we know already do. Look. You're running. You're running, coaching. It's not the same. We we don't we we don't have contracts. It's not the same. What contracts? Gotta, I don't have a contract have with anybody, People dude. Buying stuff. It's got to be, you know, percentages and all. It's got to be. It's not legit yet. It's not legit yet, dude. It's, it's not legit. legit. It's not legit. I don't have a contract with Jeremy. I don't have a contract with Alex. I don't have a contract with Bo. Dude, papers that's how it works. If you need, if you need a contract, I'm out, dude. That's papers, a... Don't papers have to be signed? No. For what? What about taxes and, and, and dividends and all that stuff, all that legal stuff? Well, taxes, sure. You, we pay taxes on it, but I... He, all, he... All, that stuff has to, all that has to be, you know, legalized through the government. Yeah, he has a company. Uh, and I take a percentage of everything that we bring in. But just stay tuned, guys. 2025. Hang in there. 2025. <laughs> 2025, Zanny's talking to you. No mercy say, yeah, 50 Cent, my inspiration, and Muhammad Ali. There you go. I mean, even look at what Ali did. Man, that guy's I got a post of Muhammad Ali in my other room. Underrated. Yeah, Ali. Underrated. underrated. Oh, man. Just go. Even I mean, when he's he was still underrated. Uh, underrated, sure, as a boxer, but like just as a, as a, as a genius, dude. Yeah. He had a very powerful voice, man. Very smart man. Even as Cash is Clay and Muhammad Ali. But but 50 Again, Cent is the model, dude. 50 Cent is the model. Go study 50 Cent. Yeah. You need to find your vitamin water and, and then own a piece of it and help them. Help them build and grow. Like you're actively out there selling with them. It's it's water, dude. It's a water company. Come vitamin on water, man. Yeah. You take a company like that and then you give them you give them some of your negotiation, assertiveness, strategy, right? That's how you win.